Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to experiment in the kitchen. This is something that I've never done before. I did a teaspoon of um, dried garlic. I did a teaspoon of um, the uh, red onions, dried red onions. Put my chicken in. I'm not using beer because anyone in this channel knows I love to use beer. I just use plain water. I'm taking the skin off the chicken to make it more health um, wise um, just to reduce fat and stuff like that. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees and uh, we're going to put the chicken in for an hour. I am going to put seasoning salt on top of the chicken. Um, Again, in this video, you can do whatever you want. This is just my way of playing around in the kitchen and coming up with something different. You know, you don't have to follow a recipe. You can just, you know, experiment with it and that'd be fine. So as you can see, I got the chicken brown. I did put uh, some seasoning on the chicken and uh, I'll show you what I used for seasoning. Uh, I found this stuff at Walmart that you can buy. I used that on the chicken. Uh, another uh, thing that I put into the water was this. It's dried uh, crushed red onions. Thought it would probably give a little bit of flavor to the meat. And of course, uh, the last um, ingredient I used was the crushed garlic. And I just used a tablespoon of the crushed garlic and a tablespoon of the crushed red onions into the water and uh, the chicken spice I just sprinkled on top. I probably added a lot more salt than what I need. Uh, you don't need any more seasoning than that. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take my uh, chicken out and put it on a plate. I'll um, wait for it to rest for a few minutes and uh, chop it up. And then what we'll do is we'll get our water boiling and uh, we'll uh, make, we'll put some of this stuff into the uh, pasta. Um, what I'm planning to do is maybe use two of the chickens as um, filler for the pasta and the other smaller pieces for uh, kind of a side dish. Um, yeah, so it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, feel free to experiment with different um, spices, salt and pepper. Um, there's no wrong way of doing this. Uh, I absolutely have no recipe as to what I'm concocting. Uh, I guess we'll all find out together. So what I did was I put about two cups of uh, pasta in here. I've chopped up the chicken. I did save uh, two, uh, two pieces of chicken. And what I did was I did up the frozen uh, vegetables, put some butter in with it. What we can do is we can put it as a side dish or if you want to throw it in with the pasta, that's cool too. Um, I guess <clears throat> just to experiment to see what works for you and what your tastes are. Um, I put the timer on for 10 minutes for the pasta and uh, we'll see you in the next segment.
Uh, so what I did was some frozen vegetables. We put some butter in with it. Uh, heated it up a little bit. There's some English muffins with a little bit of Parmesan cheese on it, just to give it that taste. Uh, I don't know, something different, I guess. We have our um, pasta that I had grated up some uh, cheddar cheese we put in a can of mushroom soup and kind of mix it up so it's sort of like a mac and cheese but not quite because I haven't done a roux with it and of course you get a uh, piece of chicken so it's a it's a big hearty meal for someone that's super hungry I hope you found this video uh, entertaining and enjoyable. Um, please like and subscribe. Helps keep the lights on. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.